time on that channel, welcome. Uh, today I want to show you, uh, talk a little bit about porosity because I've got a dodgy bit of metal here. This was a melt up I did when I was preparing metal to do that contemporary artwork I did recently. I'll put a card on the screen if you want to check that video out. Um, but yeah, I didn't use this, I didn't like the look of it. But today, for a video I was planning to do, uh, I need a big chunk of metal again. So I gave it a chance as it's already made up. And um, yeah, sure enough, it's horrible. When I cut through it, um, it's horrible. So I'll show you up close and talk a little bit about porosity and metal. And I'll do that after I said thank you to these awesome new patrons. We got Trevor Alderfer, Augusta Lazenby, Sandy Philip Smith, and um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to say this name. Silive Xayaseni. Thank you very much. <laughs> I feel bad because I want to say your name correctly, but I just know I'm not. Um, but yeah, thank you very much guys. I really do appreciate you becoming patrons. Uh, genuinely, really, I know I always say this, but it really does help me continue making videos. So I'm especially grateful to patrons because they make an effort to send some money to me and enable me to do more. So that's great. But also I appreciate people who just subscribe and regularly watch, click like and all that. It's uh, that is all really helpful as well. So I appreciate all of you, but especially the patrons because I really spending money basically to enable this channel to continue so yeah thank you very much guys if you want to become a patron yourself there's a link in the description click on that you can go to the patreon website and learn about all the benefits uh right so let's get into this video right so we need loads of light do some close-ups today so this metal at a first glance doesn't look too bad but there were certain bits of it i didn't like I'll give you something to point at it with uh yeah that i didn't like uh, i'm sure somewhere there was a little crack somewhere on it um but yeah, so looking around them, I didn't really like them. They weren't as nice as the other bits. That's why I didn't get used for doing that contemporary piece. But it would save me a lot of time if I could use this today. So that's why I gave it a chance. So I was cutting through it. I just wanted to mill out half of it. And I thought, as it looked a bit porous around the outside, I thought I'd just try and grab it in pliers and tear it. And yeah, it did. Look, all that just tore off quite easily. So I'll show you. So it's obviously a bit porous. So let me show you up close. This seems to be as close as my camera can get, remaining in focus. Okay, have a look at that. It's like very, it's like lots of little craters. So each one of those craters is sort of full of air. There's a lot of air in it. I mean, you can literally see a big bubble there that I sort of cut through. So there'll be bubbles like that all the way through the metal. So when you mill in it out, you, they sort of start off little cracks and stuff so how easily it tore this is going to be terrible metal to mill out i mean you can you can save it like i did it before in a video you, you get problematic metal you can rescue it but slows you down a lot doing a job this is like a little mini electronic microscope um i can't get the camera to look through it and focus but this is times 100 it's quite good fun to look at things through this uh, but i can't get it to sit on that and then look at, it, look at it through the camera but basically it looks like what you'd imagine it would look like just lots of little craters it's almost like looking through a telescope at the moon it sort of looks like that um well it's porous you know like a porous stone from volcano site or something um feels very rough uh porosity is going to bite you one day working on jewelry you might be pushing a claw over a ring or something and it'll just snap in half really really easily and if you get a 10 times loop and look at where it snapped yeah um, it will look all rough and cratery like that. So what do you do in those situations? Like customers might have spent a lot of money on something and uh, you, you made it, like made it well, everything's all la di da all finished perfectly, customer's happy, but then a few months later, even like a year later or whatever, it just breaks. And I've seen, I've seen a ring shank break, not even on a solder joint, it just snapped. And it's just because when a customer is wearing a ring and it's, you know, they're picking stuff up and it just gets that gentle tap or, you know, picking up a heavy bag, gets squeezed about like the metal, it's got forces on it all the time, uh, just gets work hardened. And if there's a weak spot where there's porosity inside the metal, uh, that's where it's going to break from. So I have seen it happen. Uh, what do you do in that situation? You can't really charge the customer. Well, I, I, I don't think I could anyway. Uh, it's not really your fault it broke, especially since it was all polished and finished nicely and there's no sign of it. Um, but at the same time, there's evidence that it's bad metal, so slightly dodgy product. <laughs> so you've got to fix it for free. <laughs> uh, but yeah, porosity, watch out for it. Let's just have a look what the proper definition is rather than me just uh, bumbling along. Porosity 
refers to the level of solidity achieved in an additively made metal part. That is, whether there are cavities or holes between the layers of a part. Yeah, that sums it up quite nicely for me. Yeah, problems when they're making tools and stuff. Sounds like every trade working in metal is something they've got to really look out for. So yeah, it's um, common in manufacturing, hand making things. If you're working in metal, porosity is something you've got to look out for and you will likely learn about <laughs> the hard way. <laughs>